It is time to talk entertainment on News 6 at 9, and that means it's time to mix it up. Why don't we just have that play the whole time while we talk to CJ yeah, from News 105.1 and Smooth jazz. Happy Wednesday, CJ. I want that just to follow me around. Every <laughs> room I enter, shopping. I just yeah. want that to play. Yeah, yeah. your theme music exactly. has to follow you. Your grocery you shopping. deserve that. <laughs> you know, we have so much to get to today. A bit of good news here, especially mm-hmm. with the sadness behind the story of Notre Dame and that horrible fire. A French billionaire and his family are pledging to really help rebuild the cathedral. So it's interesting because um, Salma Hayek and her husband, Francois-Henri Pinault, Ooh, I probably didn't nice. say that right, oh, but I think you did. I'm going to say that I tried. Um, they, as soon as it happened, he, and he came out and said, you know, my father and I, we're going to pledge, you know, 100 million euros, which is $113 million Whoa. to the reconstruction Big of time. Notre Dame. Well, then all of a sudden, billionaires from all over the world started donating. So there's millions and millions of dollars that are going to be uh, going towards the reconstruction of Notre Dame. Is that them right there? Yeah, you know? and so, you know, for, for, he's he's like the president of uh, Caring, which I thought when I read it was Keurig. I was like, ooh, coffee. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's not. It's totally different. Uh, Caring is like, uh, they own a bunch, a bunch of luxury brands. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I, I, you know, they have a house in Paris. Obviously, you know, they're French, or he's French, and um, there's a lot of connection there for him, and a lot of people, too. And so, mm-hmm. one of the things that I saw as soon as it happened is I went on social media and I saw people posting their photos, and I kind of, mm-hmm. in the beginning, was mm-hmm. like, it's not about you. Exactly. Then I thought about yeah. it though, and I was like, something like Notre Dame is a personal experience because oh, yeah. it is such a religious place. Mm-hmm. It is such a personal uh, journey that you go on when you go there. So that's exactly what should be happening. And people are talking about it, and yeah. it's going to get rebuilt now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They did tie the knot less than a mile from the cathedral back yeah. in 2009. So, like, that's what you're saying, it kind of ties into yes. many people's lives. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, next up, we are royal baby crazed mm-hmm. over yeah. here. Mm-hmm. I am ready to scrub in as Meghan Markle's yes. doula. <laughs> and so, <laughs> They're course, teasing we, us, too. I know. Mm-hmm. Of course, we know her as the Duchess of Sussex, and now the Queen of Fashion is giving her praise for her pregnancy mm-hmm. style. No, so it's, it's interesting. I, I always think about, you know, pregnancy, and I'm like, oh, just be comfortable, because that looks so yes, uncomfortable right. carrying yes, around this, is. like, just <laughs> melon. melon. Right. Yeah, but um, so basically Anna Winter from uh, editor-in-chief of Vogue magazine was like, you know, her fashion has been on point. She's like, I think every time I see her, her heels just get higher and higher and higher. <laughs> now, that may not be by choice, you know, because obviously being a royal, there's a lot of guidelines mm-hmm. you have to abide by. Um, but to have Anna Winter, you know, Winter say that this is, you know, you are just what fashion pregnancy goals mm-hmm. um, is remarkable. She also said that she wishes more women would continue to dress their personality mm-hmm. and their style when they're pregnant and celebrate being pregnant mm-hmm. and don't hide it with, you know, these really comfortable clothes. And I'm like, well, I think you just do whatever suits you, you know. And she's a fashion icon. And, you know, we haven't typically seen a lot of royals embracing that style that really shows their bump. So it is nice to see Mm -hmm. that because it's a very modern look. And Megan is known to be a style icon. So we love it. But those heels when you're pregnant, I'm telling you, I did that. And now my feet have never been the same. So... (laughs) That's my word of caution because I'm sure she's watching online yeah, yeah. right now. You just do what you can do. Right. Yeah. Exactly. I, I, honestly, I would probably just be in like a, a muumuu the entire time because yes. I just, I, you just want to be comfortable. Fuzzy yes. slippers. I remember one of the first uh, things uh, Julie told me when I was pregnant. She goes, you know what, for the next nine months, don't suck it in. Just let it all hang Right, it's out. the only time in your life. Do it. Yeah. Well, and you know, another way that it. we're celebrating here locally is mm-hmm. uh, Mix 105.1, we're throwing a royal baby shower. Ooh, it's actually wow. a donation drive. Yeah, so if wonderful. you have um, like baby goods, uh, things for new moms. Um, come I got donate a ton it. of stuff in my car right now. Well, <laughs> bring it, bring it to the radio station. Okay. We are accepting donations. I'm just going to give it to you. You take it today. Uh, hey, let's, buy, let's go right after Do the it. show. Right. But we're going to donate these to um, Harbor House. And oh, so, wonderful. you know, Perfect. this is going to go on until the royal baby arrives. So all the info's at mix1051.com. That, that is great. great. I love yeah. that. All right, let's talk a little bit of speed. Hagrid's magical uh, creatures motorbike adventure. Oh, it's a mouthful. I'm it, it, op- <laughs> it opens up in June, and Universal Orlando is announcing new details every single day this week. So, I mean, there's a lot of excitement going on behind this. There's motorbike. a three headed dog. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes. yeah, yeah. So, um, those of us that have seen the films, uh, <laughs> I see those eyes. I think that was some shade. <laughs> yes. 
Uh, Fluffy, uh, the three-headed dog, was announced on Monday. A lot of fans pretty much anticipated this. Mm -hmm. uh, it was one of the first iconic, magical creatures we met in the Harry Potter franchise. Um, so uh, Fluffy is going to be there. Uh, yesterday they actually announced. He um, look very fluffy. fluffy. Well, it's kind of ironic. Okay. You know, okay. He's, he's a dog. He's still fluffy. Okay. Um, and then yesterday they announced the Cornish Pixies are going to be and a part of it. Those are trouble. They are. Uh, I think it was in mm. Chamber of Secrets. Neville Longbottom's character was pulled by the ears and hung on a chandelier, and he was just kind of dangling there, like, oh, oh what's my going goodness. on? And then today they're also they teased. Um, it looks like Devil's Snare, which if you've seen the films, you know that you know you kind of have to relax and fall through. So it's kind of maybe something that's going to be an interesting twist wow. in this ride. I know you're excited about that. Can you tell? Just a little bit. <laughs> and so on Friday, you always help out one of CJ's listeners. I do. Last week, we um, we helped out mom. Yeah. She uh, it was, we had a birthday party and then dyed Easter eggs. Yes. And it was hot, but she loved it. Good. So maybe you've got an event or something coming up, obviously Easter this weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want a personalized pinpoint accurate forecast, uh, just hit me up on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook at Mix1051. And then... Uh, I'll commission Candace to come over and uh, give you that personalized, pinpoint accurate forecast. You know if it's going to be a beautiful Easter or not. Yeah, exactly. well, and if you do tell us about your Easter party, you know we're, we're going to show up, too. Yeah, I want to do the so egg hunt. Do. Yeah. I love an egg hunt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Although <laughs> Troy kids. always comments about the hard-boiled eggs out in the sun. Yuck. Every year he's like, oh. You do the plastic eggs yeah, and you, you put candy plastic. in them. Right, but not chocolate because that'll melt. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. You grew May up in Florida. You've got it down. Maybe this year. It might be cold this year. Oh. No, I won't. I won't. I won't. <laughs> like, what a tease. tease. <laughs> All right, CJ, thank you. We See love you next seeing week. you. Yes. All right.